Greetings, my name is Stefan Haggard. I'm the editor of the Journal of East Asian Studies. And during the lockdown, I decided that I would send some short videos previewing some of the work we have forthcoming in the Journal of East Asian Studies, which is published by Cambridge University Press. These are all articles which will, are appearing now in first view. And today I wanna to focus on a piece by Taisuke Fujita and Hiroki Kusano called Denial of History, Yasukuni Visits as Signaling. I, I really like this piece and enjoyed working with the authors on moving it into publication because it's a very nice qualitative design based on a necessary conditions approach to causation. And one of the things they show using this kind of uh, technique is that there are these necessary conditions that we would expect for visits to the Yasukuni shrine, including obviously uh, the presence of a conservative party in power uh, and also uh, high approval ratings on the part of the prime minister. But the other thing they find is that uh, tensions with China and perceptions of a China threat play into this equation. And this is sort of interesting because it reverses the causal logic we often hear of Japan being militarist. It's rather that Japan is using the Yasukuni uh, shrine visits as a way of signaling its commitment to China. I think this is gonna be an interesting piece. It deserves to be uh, widely read by those who are interested in the question of Sino-Japanese relations, uh, and in particular, this problem of the history issues and how those are used and manipulated on both sides. Uh, thanks very much for listening in, and uh, feel free to check this out. It's an interesting piece.